So what are you able to tell Katie, obviously now as a veteran of major tournaments, Alex, your first World Cup, Katie, what, what advice are you able to pass on? Katie is a, the captain of a club and she's an experienced player and she, she leads by example at a club and it's not, I'm not going to tell her what to do or where to be or, but I think obviously being away from home for a long time is, you can have good days and bad days, it's difficult and the role you play in the team is important but for me it's just to be herself and what she does at a club and I'm sure she'll be absolutely fine. How excited are you about experiencing your first World Cup, especially what you watched the girls do in the summer? Yeah, I'm really excited. I think watching the Euros um, not only inspired the people around them and inspired the people that are already into football, but the entire nation. And I think that's what made it so special. So for me, I'm so excited to be a part of it. And like you mentioned, my first major tournament, something that I've always dreamed of. So I'm really excited to be there with a great group of girls and some of them are really close friends too. So that makes it even more special. Going into the tournament, what's the feeling within the camp in terms of do you think you're going in as favourites? Um, obviously, you know, with Euros winners, you've got a bit of a target on your back, but do you feel that extra pressure or is it just going to, to compete and, and obviously play as well as possible again? I think we've, we've welcomed that expectation. Um, I think when you, when you win the Euros, naturally that comes anyway. Um, but I think we're a very grounded and humble team and um, we've obviously had a lot of change over the last 12 months in terms of the team and... We have some young players, some players are experienced, first tournament. So I think for us, it's to be prepared for the 22nd and our first game. And I know it's the boring answer that maybe you just don't want, but we, we, we literally just prepare for the first game that we've got and the first three group, three group, group games, can't get my words out. Um, <laughs> and we take it from there. And I think that's a, a method and a, a way we've worked under Serena. And I think it works really well for this group. Just finally, obviously, you know the feeling from the semi-finals of the World Cup. Yeah. In, in 2019 against USA uh, we've obviously played them since one mm -hmm. as well but tournament football is, is very different as you said if everything goes to form if mm -hmm. in inverted commas fingers crossed you could potentially meet the USA in the final mm -hmm. how incredible would that be and how much added incentive would you have to, to win it as if you need added incentive anyway yeah absolutely no none needed um, but what an unbelievable final that would be the champions for a reason that are, you know, historically in a World Cup they they succeed and their, their mentality to to winning is incredible and I think we've got definitely a, a taste of that now and I mean yeah that would be an unbelievable final. A lot is talked about in terms of how a winning mentality helps you. You're obviously a double winner this season. D does that help your mentality going into a major tournament? I think so, yeah. I mean, for me, club football and, and international football are entirely different, but I definitely think it helps with mentality. You know, at um, Chelsea, we've, we've worked hard and we've managed to win a lot of things, obviously, recently, the double. And I think that you kind of just... At Club Finder, we found a way to win in that digging deep kind of mentality and things that you might have to do during during a World Cup in order to get results. Have you talked a lot about the experiences of what happened in the summer versus what's happened domestically over, over the season and how that can push you on that extra level for a World Cup? Um, I think a little bit um, in terms of obviously you always learn from your experiences that you've had and trying to figure out um, maybe what worked in the, in the Euros, what didn't, what we could do better, etc. But also World Cup is going to be so different to the Euros and each tournament has proven to be so different. So we also have to remember that we're going to have to, what got us the title and the Euros might not do the same in the World Cup. So we've got to try and figure out our best techniques with the squad um, on, how we can, on how we can be successful. So what do you think it's going to take? Because if you look on paper, and I'm sure you will have done, even though I know you, you always concentrate on yourselves, it's a really tough run once you get out of the, the group. How are you viewing it? How are you going to have to do things differently? I think for us, it's just taking one day at a time, one game at a time. You know, we can't think too far ahead before we, we before we play our first game. And I think that we do our research, we do our analysis, and we prep for that first team and try and figure out their strengths and weaknesses and how we can use our own strengths on, upon them. And I think that everyone just being ready, um, our team togetherness has got to be important. You know, so we're away away from home and um, away from our families, etc. So that togetherness is going to be really important and everyone just bringing that extra percent. Um, everyone's got to raise their game, I think. 
just finally, who is it that you've got your eye on mostly in terms of competition? You know what? I've, to be honest, I don't really think about anyone else besides ourselves. Um, I just think that we've obviously we've got a great, great squad, and I think that if we can use all of our strengths to work together as a team, then hopefully we can have a successful tournament. Great group who've already had an amazing experience mm -hmm. and got that taste of, of victory, which must make you want it even more. That's the thing, once you get the taste, then it's obviously anything less is, is an, a nice feeling. Um, but we'll just go out there, give our best, and I think I've spoke about it quite a bit. The most important things like the inner belief and as a group, I think we really, we really have that. Um, obviously there's a lot of new faces, a lot of youth, um, but hopefully we can lean on each other, take each other's experiences and, yeah, when it counts, perform to the best of our ability. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've talked to you about this before, both formally and informally, if you like, and your role from going as England's number one, essentially, to Mary coming back into the fold under Serena Wiegmann. H how are you feeling with that? Because I, I know you and Mary get on really well. And yeah, for sure. Me and Mary get on really well. And I think I've since I've been in the international system, I've worked with Mary. Um, and for me, I think we have that level of respect that we've both probably gone through moments where we've been in each other's shoes. Um, and she's performing amazingly at the minute and for me I have nothing but respect for that. Um, on a personal level I'll keep doing my best, keep trying to perform um, to the best of my ability and to be honest with you for me that's just enjoying my football and, and really getting back to that place of, of doing that and um, I feel like I'm in a good moment at the minute and I'm looking forward to the summer ahead getting to work with unbelievable staff, unbelievable players and for me, it's just loving every minute of it and utilising and pretty much draining the staff members of all their knowledge to, to put me in a really good position going forward to the summer. And if I'm needed, then I'll hopefully be in a very good position to do that. When you're on the pitch, that's when you feel the most free. Um, so yeah, it's really nice to be back in. And obviously we've got a huge, huge tournament coming up that full focus is on. And in terms of that tournament, your personal aspirations, obviously, you know, we know that the team aspirations is, is to, to go and win the tournament. But for you personally, what do you want to gain out of the tournament? I think, obviously, it's my first World Cup and second major tournament now. Um, and kind of the same attitude that I went into the Euros with, I want to bring into this tournament because I just wanted to be in the moment and push myself every day um, and leave with no regrets, I think the tournament although it seems like a long time it will go really quickly um, so just want to make sure that you make use of, of every moment out there and yeah make sure that it's a positive one to remember and obviously you probably won't get a lot of downtime but if you do is there anything in the back of your head you're thinking I've always wanted to go to Australia I've always wanted to see a, a certain landmark or a certain beach you got anything in mind yeah well my mum and dad actually my dad proposed to my mum on the Sydney Opera House steps wow. yeah so if I could get over there and and see that that would be really nice I'm Alessia Russo and the bright. Alex Greenwood, Jess Carter, and you can listen to all of England's games in the Women's World Cup on Talksport. 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 Talk